Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new, you may as well hit subscribe. Today, I'll be showing you three key turnout exercises for any dancer at any level to just basically Hello, my name is Jasmine McDonald and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new, you may as well hit subscribe. Today's video will just be three simple turnout exercises that you can do at any place, anytime, anywhere. So first things first, we're going to swing our legs behind us and start on our front. Now you're gonna to wanna to be a little bit warm to do all of these exercises, but you can be a beginner to do all these exercises as well. Taking your hands underneath your forehead, you're gonna point your toes, stretch your knees, and just begin to turn out from the tops of your hips. Already here, you should feel your external rotators, your deepest set of rotators, as well as your hamstrings and your glutes. You're always gonna to wanna to think of pulling your belly button off of the floor towards your spine, so you're not sinking in your back and letting your knees bend and fall. And you're just gonna do a couple of these turns. Eventually, we'll begin to lift the legs a little bit, so you're just externally rotating and bring it parallel, external, parallel. And as we begin to lift, option one, keep your hands underneath your forehead, and option two, you can take your hands underneath your hip bones or underneath your pelvic bone. If this is a little bit painful, you can also roll up your mat a little bit or put a sweater, and you're going to begin to lift your legs and do the same thing, a little bit hovering off the mat, just externally rotating, bring it parallel. Once you've done about eight of those, let's do eight together, eight seven, six, five, four, turning out, three, two, one. Let's lift the head and the neck and the upper body a tiny bit. And we're gonna bring our heels together and squeeze our butt. And we're gonna bring it in for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's do it again with our feet flexed, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and relax. Let's do that all one more time. So beginning with our feet together, turning out, and parallel, turning out, just on the floor, parallel, just turning out, parallel, turning out, parallel, four more. You can also rest your head on the floor if that's more comfortable. Sometimes I like to put my hands at my muscles to feel exactly which muscles are engaging, especially the ones that are close to the lower <laughs> glute region. That kind of makes a little pocket. Your dance teachers talk about a pocket near your hip socket or near the outside of your hip. That's the little dent you need when you turn up. So let's begin to lift the legs. It's not actually beside your hip socket. I just thought that would rhyme, but <laughs> turns out it doesn't work out. So let's do a few more external. External, three, two, and one. Lift the head and the neck and little pulses for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flex feet, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down. And just windshield wiper your legs a couple of times. If you feel it in your inner thighs, it's also normal. Go ahead and sit back into a child's pose and release any tension from your lower back. Beautiful. Let's take a break from our front, as I know a lot of people can get tired in their lower back there. So let's go on to our side. Shoulder stacked, hip stacked. We do this one a lot in glute workouts. We're gonna be doing some clamshells. So keeping our toes pointed, open the knee, and bring it back. Try to think of lifting your waist as well because the idea is that we're doing a passe for tire and we don't wanna sink into this because as soon as we do that in our passe, we lose our vertical alignment when we're standing. I know right now I'm horizontal, but when you're standing, this is your vertical alignment, your spine. You want your spine to be straight, almost like it's stacked like blocks or like a few Jengas you don't wanna knock over. Good, let's do two more. We've done 10 in total, and we'll do one more. Now from here, you're gonna take your toe back to an attitude derriere. Take your arm in front, just to kind of stretch out one long line to the next, and you're gonna draw little circles with your toes for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, keep rotating, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, flex through the foot, and you're going to dig your heel into the floor, stretch to an arabesque, keep rotating, and bring it back in. Option to repeat it on that side, or switch sides, as this is just more of a video to show you exercise to practice. I like to do that exercise two to four times, and let's try we open for 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take the attitude derriere, one arm in front, like you're doing an arabesque. We do 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flex through the foot, and then you're going to dig the heel into the floor, stretch the leg behind you, do an arabesque, lengthen, and then you can relax. Beautiful. Last one is going to be laying down, and quite similar to the first one, belly button to spine, so we don't lose that Vertical alignment once again. Nice tall back as if you're standing. Take your legs up and point your toes, stretch your knees. Option, staying like this. Option two, if this is too much on your core, if you're a pretty beginner, you can take your hands underneath your seat for extra help. Option three, take your arms in first position in front of your belly button. We're just gonna do the same thing we did before. Externally rotate, bring it back. Externally rotate, bring the shoulders back. Externally rotate, parallel. Externally rotate, parallel. Let's do four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Flex through the feet, and we're gonna reverse tendu. As if you're doing a tendu derriere, point through the foot, and flex, bring it back. And the same thing on the way down, flex, or point through the foot rather, and then flex, bring it back. Again, point through the foot, and flex, bring it back. Externally rotating from the tops of the hips, and bring it back. Pointing it down and bringing it back. A little bit of a core exercise too. Pointing it down and bringing it back from here. Point both toes and open them to alisacant and flex the feet back. Again, point them both and flex the feet back. Pointing them again and flex the feet back. Last time, pointing them again and flex the feet back. Last thing, take your arms out. Point through the feet and do a demi plie or make a diamond shape and then flex the feet away. This one's really difficult. To make it even more difficult, you're going to flex your feet instead of straight to the ceiling. You're going to extend your legs far away. You can lift your head and your neck as well. Make it a little bit more of a core exercise. But the idea, once again, is to rotate from the back of the legs. Really engage the back of your legs to turn out. Pull up the knees and keep the belly button moving towards the spine. I have to remind myself still sometimes. And last one, and bring it back up. Give yourself a hug. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.